boots on the ground, putting it down. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up. I got something to tell you I don't think they want you to know, but I'm going to tell you anyway. It's best-selling author Mickey D with The Scoop. I want to thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure. It's an honor to be on your electronic device. Thank you very much. Thank you for uh, battling through those infomercials, those 30, giving me 30 seconds. I appreciate it. Thank you for your support of the T's. And uh, also, I'll have links for you uh, at the end of the video down at the description. Uh, I'll have links for you for the books. As you guys know, The Scoop is for your entertainment and your education. I'm not a stockbroker. I'm not a money manager. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm an author. I write books. My books can be found on Amazon.com or you can go to any bookstore in America and uh, you can ask for them. If they don't have them, they can order them for you. Uh, tell them uh, just Mickey D, the name marijuana book or something and they should be able to pull it up. I can tell you, my friends, right now that uh, there's a tug of war going on in America. Um, there are people that don't want to see anything to do, they don't want anything to do with, with cannabis, and then there are those that are uh, accepting uh, and respectful of the process and getting people information that they need. But it's just so easy for them to say, nope, we don't have any of that stuff here, Nope, our library can't order any of that stuff here. When you as a citizen, you know you can go to that library and you can tell them, hey, can you order this? And they've got to put it up to a committee or so or individual that the librarian and they're, they're all over the country, my friends. They want, they want information. There is, there's a way for you to get these books some way or another if you, you might be financially challenged or however you don't you know don't buy books or anything you don't buy audio t tapes or anything uh, audio uh, books or you don't have a Kindle or something like that there's there's uh, ways for you to get it my friends there's ways for you to get it but I tell you it was a wild wild week of trading my friends and as you're out with your family on this uh, this weekend uh, just think, think about, think a second or, or two about this week, man. It has been just, it, it's, it kind of reminds me of, uh, of back in the day, you know, you guys know I like to tell these, these little stories and stuff, and, uh, uh, it, it's really, really, it's rough. It, it's, it's just so, so, so rough, it, but it reminds me so much of the dot-coms when, you know, things went up and things went down, things went up. You know, we've got this and we're going to, it goes up and then, uh, no, we're not going to, we're not going to be able to secure this, uh, uh, this name. So it goes back down and stuff like that. But it, really, really interesting week, I guess it's topped off with, uh, with the president of the United States, Donald Trump, uh, announcing that uh, he's kind of up the ante in the trade war with China. My friends, this is real. This has the potential to really throw some things off uh, in, in the world economy. Now, of course, he doesn't have the uh, power or the authority or, or he thinks he's the chosen one. Uh, he can't really stop uh, companies and just stop things on a dime and say, hey, move back to America. Uh, he doesn't really have that type of uh, type of authority, but just his words alone mean things, and he can raise a lot of havoc, man. A lot. It could be a lot of problems with the world economy uh, because of uh, Mr. Trump. Uh, he's he's sounding off today, you know, about G7, and he's just he's just doing doing his thing, you know. He's just uh, being the Donald. So uh, we have him for uh, approximately another uh, until the next election, and uh, the way things are going, it's kind of up in the air as to the, it's a possibility he may win that one. So uh, you may be dealing with him. I'm telling you, my friends over in in Germany and my friends uh, up in Canada, and my friends over in Southeast Asia, you we may be dealing with the Donald for a very very long time. So, uh, no, I'm not an apologist for the United States uh, president. No, I'm not. Uh, he 
says his what he wants to say and he he says what he means i guess so uh, as far as it relating to our our investments our marijuana investments our stocks and my friends if this is your first time joining us we are boots on the ground we go out we find out what's going on you can look at some previous tapes and you'll see exactly what we do we try and get on these things early my friends super super duper early factors come in like the, the political factors come in like what's going on now we're actually waiting for legislation as a major catalyst for the CBDs the marijuana cannabis industry in America not this type of catalyst that that's putting us all on our back now mind you no matter how much money a company makes no matter how well people think it's doing my friends in a bear market which I don't believe a lot of you've been in a bear market some of you have but in a bear market it does not matter my friends those companies are going downhill I'm talking about good companies little companies you don't even stand a prayer you're gonna get crushed I'm talking about companies that are not listed on the big board they're not on the Nasdaq they're not on the New York Stock Exchange they're not on the Toronto Stock Exchange they're, they're not on the, the German, uh, they're not on some of these big exchanges, super major exchanges. And in particular, I'm talking about this world's consumers. I'm talking about the New York Stock Exchange, and I'm talking about the NASDAQ Stock Exchange in America, or the American Stock Exchange, the lower version of the uh, New York Stock Exchange. Those particular companies, during times like this, when things are going downhill, they will get funding, my friends they will get the funding so I've advised all my subscribers and everyone that I know kinda intimately uh, I've told them to focus on if you're not gonna focus if you're not going to focus on like a ETF a marijuana ETF or something if you like like that area right now those ETFs are kinda dirt cheap every one of them is under like about twenty three dollars so every ETF, and mark my word, every marijuana ETF, I believe is under $23 right now. I'd keep it $24, under $24. Some are $22, $18, $19, $20. I'll, I'll do another show for that. But my friends, they're very, they're, they're low. And there may be some value in that area right now, the ETF area. But individual stocks that are a dollar two dollars three dollars four dollars that are not listed on a major exchange or do not qualify now and they just haven't been able to file there's a lot of companies out there that qualify and have not been able to file and there are a lot of companies that have filed and they haven't been approved yet but like I was telling you before the companies during the dot-coms that survived were companies that had the money they had some backing, they had some institutions that, that, that would jump in there because they were on one of the major exchanges. So that's not a bad strategy, that's not the only strategy, that's just something for you as a backup if things get really, really nasty. And when world leaders are bickering, or we have temper tantrums, or you have this stuff going on where America knows we've been treated like stepchildren by uh, China for years and years and years. But we've benefited from it. So now uh, the president wants to change that and we want to go in a different direction. And China has to respect that. So, and the rest of the world has to respect Mr. Trump deciding to go in a different direction. Now, it just may be for a little while. But there's going to be some pain. And us as investors, we may feel some of that pain, my friends. And it's, it's not going to be a good thing. Where can you hide, my friends? The only two places that I've really been able to hide during a bear market, my friends, one of them is in this bonus section. Make money, uh, marijuana today, vanadium and uranium tomorrow, companies you can get into, hold, and grow rich. Uh, 
my first, you, you get in these companies early. I'm talking about in the back of the book. Just one page 23. Page 23 has a bonus section with 10 gold stocks. And yes, currently I only own one of those 10 gold stocks. And it has done well. Has it held up my speculative account with, with uh, marijuana stocks? No, it hasn't. But it's cut a little bit of the pain of, of the account going down, put it that way. But there and uh, the REITs, Real Estate Investment Trust, they usually hold up. And uh, for the record, full disclosure, my friends, the stock that I do own uh, is Barrett Gold. I own shares in, in Barrett Gold. And I only own two REITs. One of the REITs I own, of course, everybody knows, Innovative Industrial Properties. Uh, make money online with cannabis stocks. We talk about Innovative Industrial Properties early on. Bought it in, in, when it was a teenager. It started accumulating 17, 18, 19, 20. That, in that area uh, is when we were accumulating uh, Innovative Industrial Properties. But I also own uh, the only REIT that Warren Buffett owns, which is STOR, S-T-O-R. And it's done exceptionally well. That's this ticker symbol, my friends, for store. And uh, like I said, that's the only, I mean, yeah, who's Warren Buffett? You know, well, it's the only REIT he owns. So, I mean, you know, I didn't, I didn't own it because he owned it. I owned it because it was a good REIT to own and I've owned it for a long time. So not only because he owned it, but you get the drift there, my friends. Those, if I have to pull my account back to gold stocks, and maybe the big three, uh, I'm talking about Aurora, Afria, Canopy, and, uh, you know, stick some GW Pharma in there, uh, and maybe some, uh, uh, maybe a little uh, uh, Charlotte's Web or something, CBDs would keep my CVSI and really uh, streamline my account, my marijuana account, my, my speculative account. I may do that, my friends, depending on how this thing plays out. Because I can tell you, those little stocks, especially those little stocks that are doing stupid deals right now, I'm talking about 14% interest rate. You know, the, in a bear market, the street is not going to receive that stuff very well. Uh, stocks doing, doing different shenanigans with their, uh, uh, their accounting. The street is not going to receive that, my friends. So just be very, very careful as uh, you trade this coming up week because we can have some major fluctuations, my friend, major fluctuations. And uh, just remember, if we go, we go down and you want to sell, don't sell that day. Wait till the next day till it goes up and then sell, <laughs> you know. Uh, but just, just no, no panic selling here, my friends. No panic selling. Um, we don't do that. But I do have some concerns about uh, the marijuana market right now. I have some major, major concerns, my friends. And uh, I hope that, uh, that they get uh, this together and we can get back on track. Because after today's announcement, actually, our run in, you know, we usually come, this is our time, September, October, November, December. I don't know if this thing will be resolved, but it could still be playing with the market. And if the S&P goes down, the Dow goes down, uh, I have news for you. News flash. Marijuana stocks are going down also. And they're going down fast and they're going down hard, my friends. And this may be the flush out that the industry needs. We may be left with 10 companies, you know. And they won't be these dollar companies. They won't be $2 companies, $3 companies. The baby knockouts, the baby knockouts will be knocked out. Okay? They will be knocked out in a bear market, my friends. Make no mistake about it. Do not think they're going to be doing in a bear market a baby knockout that's not listed on the exchange, that doesn't have a lot of money, doesn't have institutional backing, is going to be knocked out. It is going to zero. 
How low can a lot of these stocks go? People have been asking me how low can they go? These stocks can go to zero, my friends. I'm a witness. I've seen it. I've seen it many a times. I've seen it right here. With some, we were talking just last week about Mass Roots, $2 stock. That is zero. And it was just $2 just a little while ago. They had a little business model. They had little deals they were signing and everything. Marijuana stock. Little deals they were signing and everything. Zero, my friends. You know, the street can be brutal. Wall Street is brutal. Listen to me when I tell you that, my friends. You could lose all of your money. Every dime. Any and every penny you have under your mattress, my friends, in a bear market. You can lose it all. Did I make that clear enough? So if you want to speculate and things continue to get rough, like like they were, you know, if we you know next starting next week, if you see this thing rolling, you know, and we have those giant up days that make you feel good, and, and we have those bear market rallies that really, oh, we're back to oh, things are back, you know. Like, you know, you can sniff those those winds of change, you know. Uh just reevaluate and think about it again, my friends. But hey, I've ran it long enough. Once again, I'm gonna leave some links for you. Uh, the books, Make Money Online, Cannabis Stock. Educate yourself, my friends, with the books. Mickey D, Amazon.com. Go to your local bookstore while you're out this week. Go uh, the new book, also, uh, How to Start a, a Marijuana Investment Club is out there, my friends. Also, Investing at Any Age. Uh, start early or catch a mega trend is out there, my friends. Uh, all under Mickey D. So, if you're in the bookstore, what have you, get your order in, my friends. Really appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. Love you. God bless you. Have a great weekend with you and your family. Take care. The next video is coming up right now.